Hi, this is Eric Pitak, Pure Vita Fitness. I just want to tell you a little bit about Pure Vita Fitness. Um, I started Pure Vita, Pure Vita Fitness about 12 years ago. Um, you know, I had worked in a corporate gym environment and I had been fortunate enough to develop a nice clientele. Um, the problem with the corporate gym environment is it's all about the numbers, it's all about you know, bottom lines, and sometimes when you're trying to do good for, for people, your, your hands are tied. So, fortunate enough, I was, I was lucky to run across a great chiropractor who shared a similar vision for his chiropractic business as I had for uh, a personal training business, and I took the leap of faith and uh, started this, this studio we're sitting in right now. Um, based on that, you know, it was just great because we worked together and we had been referring clients and um, we ran our businesses very similar, we were very like-minded, had the similar core values, so we clicked right away. So here we are 12 years later, we've expanded the studio. Um, I really like coming to work every day, I feel like this business is my ministry. Um, my trainers are great, we have a great team of people here that, um, it's not just about watching the clock and giving somebody just the bare minimum, it's really going above and beyond what they get over delivering. And, you know, not just transforming bodies, but transforming lives in this place. It's not even just about losing body fat and weight. It's about helping people become more of what they're supposed to be. And part of that is seeing some success in here in the gym. It snowballs into other areas of their life. They actually start to have more self-confidence to try things outside of the gym. Their mood improves. Their mental clarity improves. They start to be more productive at work. They're better with their families. They get their families involved. It's just cool to see that that transformation that occurs. And it's one of the reasons I love coming to work every day. You know, uh, a lot of people in minimum America don't like what they do for a living. I love what I do. I love my, my staff and my clients. Um, I love the fact that I can come in and I feel like I'm making a difference in my community, helping people out. Um, you know, did I get into personal training to get rich? No, I didn't. But I, I, one of my trainers calls it the paycheck of the heart. You get to come in and make a difference in people's lives every day. And I want to keep that vision in front of me. We have core values. You know, one of our core values is to be givers, not takers. Um, so we believe big in not just giving of money, which we do in the community, but giving our time and getting involved in the community, being not just taking up space, but being active and helping support great causes and great people in this community. And um, I can't tell you, there's been story after story of thing, and it just it still fires me up to talk about, you know, the woman that I trained, Susan Peters, who who was in a wheelchair and now walks without a wheelchair and we walked to 5K in Channel 11, highlight of my training career. But even seeing the, the, the single mom who loses weight and gets her self-confidence back, you know, after going through maybe a tough divorce and putting on weight from stress, that gets me fired up. Or seeing one of my staff members just take, um, you know, somebody from being at the lowest point of their life to being at the highest point of their life. And exercise is one of those platforms to do that. Um, and it's just been a great, ride overall so um, why do people like period of fitness versus maybe the big box gym down the street I feel like people love our gym because it's not a gym <laughs> I call it it's kind of a contradiction but they love it because it's a smaller more intimate environment it's kind of like the, the show cheers everybody knows your name um, it's we have a little community here people encouraging one another it's not intimidating um, you know people get to know your first name, get to know stuff about you. Um, I see clients developing friendships amongst each other, doing things out of the club together, um, getting connected, and that's what keeps people coming in here. So I think the smaller environment really serves people. Uh, it helps people stay more connected and feel part of something. Um, you know, I've been doing this for 12 years, I can't see myself doing anything else. Uh, and I love what I do and I love helping people. And um, that's the story of Purity Fitness and it stands for Pure Life, which means uh, or it stands for pure life, it's a Spanish word. But basically pure life, that's something I stole from Costa Rica and it's about helping people be more here so they can be out there and, and they can live life to the fullest. And uh, you know, I speak Spanish, so it's really pronounced Pura Vida, but it, uh, people under that have been to Costa Rica understand this concept, but um, we just keep rocking and rolling. And one of our things is Kaizen, we keep constantly trying to improve on what we do, adding more groups, more programs, more classes to help people just be successful and like I said, transform their, not just their body, but their life.